Welcome back to the May BV Morning Show. Today, as you can see, I am alone in the studio because we are continuing to practice social distancing. But I do have a treat for all of you. I am going to go ahead and toss it out to our very own Kelly Collier. Take it away, Cal. Hi folks, it's me, Kelly Collier, coming to you from my home on this fine day. I am so excited to be back at filming the BV Morning Show this month. As you can see, Becca and I are practicing social distancing as I'm on the other side of Lancaster County. We are going to try to bring you the morning show as normal as we possibly can, and hopefully you enjoy it. Back to you, Becca. Thanks, Kelly. We are sure glad to hear your voice, and I am so happy you are back co-hosting with me. I know we are all looking forward to when you are able to come back to campus because we do miss you quite a bit. Switching gears a bit, as many of you know, at this time, in an abundance of caution due to COVID-19 and for the protection of our residents, we are canceling almost all events and activities. As we are filming this towards the end of April, a lot of things are changing in a short amount of time. So please stay up to date by tuning in to Daily News and also visiting our website at www.bv.org. As you know, we usually give you dates for the current month and for upcoming months. Due to the constant changes, we are going to stay away from giving you any dates at this time. Currently, things are subject to change and we cannot stress enough to continue to stay up to date with BV Daily News and the BV website. Don't worry, we are all in this together. We are continue to provide new content to our BV TV Channel 4 library. Please look in the daily news for an updated schedule as to what we'll be showing on BV TV Channel 4. We will be continuing to give you wellness updates with my staff every morning. Tune in to see a daily dose of wellness. We are going to be switching up the day as the instructors teach to keep you on your toes. So keep on wellnessing. Oh, I can't wait to wellness in my office with the daily dose of wellness when I return. We have also added more worship moments, head of the week, line dancing with Linda and Elvin Heck, and mental health talks with Lauren Rainier. Even cooking segments with food and dining. Becca, didn't I hear you and Neil kicked off something with the BV Sports Center? How's that going? We sure did, Kelly. We are gonna continue with the BV Sports Center every other week. Be on the lookout for who we will be featuring next. Becca, I even heard the Christmas tree came out of hibernation. Is that true? What did I miss? Oh yes, our friendly neighborhood Christmas tree did have a very important message for you all. Let's take a look. I decided to come out of hibernation here to showcase some of our beautiful signs to show our BB Strong, hashtag BB Strong. We wanted to encourage you to continue to put signs in your windows. You can home make them at home. You can make a great thank you sign. You can just continue to make signs. We're going to keep running around and check for some more. I'll see you there.
know these are challenging times and your messages of encouragement and gratitude and love and strength are getting us through these times together. We encourage you to continue to make signs like you've seen in this video. Post them in your, in your windows, post them on your doors. We are loving them as team members and I know residents are loving them too. Let's stick together and be, be strong. Oh, that Christmas tree, it is full of spirit. Folks, we miss you. We miss being together. And we encourage you to check up on your neighbors. As normally, we would see them out and about um, as we are quarantined to our homes. We really are not seeing each other a lot. So please check up on one another and we can all get through this together. Our team members have been working very hard to keep us all safe across campus. This month, we wanna feature some of the team members who are working hard at the security hut. Let's hear from Doug. Hello, this is Doug, the ground supervisor at Brethren Village. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not playing in the dirt. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I've been tasked with managing the hut down here at the uh, single entry point here at BV. And it's been really exciting to get to know not only residents and team members coming through the hut, but I also want you to get a chance to meet some of the different team members from different departments that have pulled together to make this all happen. I'm really proud of what they're doing and it's been exciting to get to know more people uh, on other teams and be able to work with them and realize how great of a team we have here at BV. So here they are. My name is James Milliken. I'm in the maintenance department at the facilities building. I started at Brethren Village last year, at the end of August. I came from Landis Homes. I'm Becca Scorza, and I am normally found in the wellness department on campus. My name is Shelly Troop, and I usually work on groundskeeping. It's pretty much uh, easy. I mean, you just got to screen everybody that comes in, uh, check uh, groceries that come in that people are dropping off for their parents, mothers, fathers. Yeah, so with um, you know our normal wellness schedule um, being uh, on hold right now, it's been um, good to you know help the, t uh, the other departments and get out here a couple of days at the hut. We're still mowing grass and we're still doing our, our regular thing, but we also get to work down here. The worst thing about it is the weather. Uh, we have no idea what's going to happen as far as the rainstorms, the wind. It's a little hard to write down everybody that's coming in, get temperatures when it's raining. Get outside even though we have to brave the elements sometimes. Um, and getting to know other people in other departments has been nice. And then when we see them elsewhere on campus on other days, you know, we have a name for the face or the part of the face that we can see. <laughs> it gets a little tough sometimes. We had one woman that thanked us repeatedly for, for helping her mother, but was in tears at the same time. Um, so it gets a little hard sometimes. Getting to know a lot of the employees, some of them come in and I already know their names because I see them every day now. So as, as far as getting to know, and I've only been here a short amount of time, that's helpful for me because now I can pass somebody in another building and I'll know who they are. I've been able to tell how many team members come in and out on a given day in different shift chains. It's been um, interesting in the morning, especially when we have all the people coming in for work. And then um, we've learned how many trash trucks come onto campus on any given day. It has been very interesting, um, but it is needed, obviously. So um, learning a lot out here. <laughs> Well, we're very appreciative of, uh, of the residents uh, that are helping us out down here and, and thinking about us. Um, we have a lot of goodies to, to snack on during the evenings. Uh, pizzas have showed up and donuts and candy. And so we have enough down here to eat. <laughs> it's been nice you know, to do our part and help where we're needed when we're, our current department isn't up and running so I've actually enjoyed this I've gotten to work with people that I wouldn't normally uh, work with 
and I've, I've gotten to know people in, in other departments, and uh, I hate to say that it's been enjoyable, but uh, stepping away from grounds, it's, a, it's something different. Let's hear from Lauren Rainier about what is going on in community life this month. Lauren? Thanks, Becca. I'm Lauren Rainier, and here are the updates for community life. If you're planning on having a home health agency, a home care agency, or a family member who provides an essential health care need, please let community life know as soon as possible, if you have not already done so. We are tracking agencies and essential health care family members who come onto our campus during this time of single point entry. If you are a residential living resident who has symptoms of COVID-19, which are shortness of breath, a cough, and a fever, and is going to be tested for COVID-19, please let Community Life know as soon as you are able to. We'll be able to provide case management for you and to assist you through the process of being tested and your test outcome. This is a friendly reminder for all residents. You must wear a face mask when exiting your apartment or cottage front door. If you're planning on being around people other than who you live with, please wear a mask. If you are unable to receive a fabric mask at the residential living distribution times, please let Community Life know and we'll make sure that you receive one. If you have a fabric mask that is too small or too large, please let Community Life know and we can attempt to get you another better fitting mask. Please remember to wash your mask after every time you wear it in public. Any questions about visitors, COVID-19 symptoms and testing, and face masks can be directed to Community Life at 717-581-4343. Thank you. Let's hear an update from Chaplaincy Services. Well, welcome to the chapel. I'm Chaplain Megan Lester, and I just want to let you know that we are definitely missing everyone and our gatherings together. The chapel is not the same without all your wonderful faces and voices joining in. And we do hope you're enjoying our Sunday services and times of morning devotions that continue to run on BBTV as they have for years. And we want to let you know that our Sunday morning worship services are also available to you on the internet, on YouTube, on the Brethren Village page. We are partnering with our neighbor, the Lidditz Church of the Brethren, and sharing our Sunday services with them and all of our family and friends who may want to join us in this way. And if you haven't already, we also encourage you to look and see what your home faith community may be offering online as far as services and ways to stay connected. Given our current restrictions for safety across campus, we've moved all of our chapel programming to BV TV Channel 4. And hope you'll tune in and join us here for songs and scripture and prayer together. Our series begun in Lent, a worship moment, will continue while we are under gathering restrictions. And so on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we invite you to join us for 30 minutes of worship and prayer and devotion as we pray for our community, our country, and our world. That's at 11 a.m. and replayed at 3 on those days. And new in the chapel for spring on Channel 4, we have a BV sing-along of 20 minutes of fun and classic songs led by resident volunteers and activities team members. And we'll be hosting conversations over scripture with resident volunteer Bible teachers. You can check the TV schedule for program times. And we're hosting a few specific events this month. 
One being Thursday, May 7th at 11 a.m. We'll have our National Day of Prayer service on BVTV. And also beginning on this day, May 7th, we'll have prayer stations set up across campus. And so we invite you to join us in prayer walking across our campus, May 7th through 15th. There'll be 15 or so prayer stations across the campus during this week or so. And each will guide you to pray for people of our Brethren Village community and places across our country and world. And on Sunday, May 17th at 2 p.m. on BVTV will be our spring service of remembrance. At this service, we'll take time to honor the memory of those who passed away between January 1st and April 30th of this year. This service will also be available on the Brethren Village YouTube page for families and friends. And on May 31st, we have a fifth Sunday offering in the chapel. Our tradition on the fifth Sunday of a month is to choose an outside ministry to bless on that day. This month, the Spiritual Life Task Force has chosen to bless a ministry acting locally in response to the coronavirus. We'll tell you more as we get closer, but any offerings given around that weekend of May 31st or designated for Fifth Sunday offering will go to this cause. These gifts can be sent through campus mail. Now we know everything seems different right now. We know many are missing their regular Bible studies and fellowship times. We know singing by yourself is not the same as joining our voices together. And we know there is much fear and anxiety and loneliness. And it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to feel these things. But do share your frustrations and fears with someone you trust. And then lean in together towards God. While we are yet separated, we do believe that doesn't necessarily mean we have to be disconnected. Our faith can strengthen us and uphold us far longer than any virus may keep us apart. This is the time to lean into our faith and trust God's promises together. Just like everything else, this coronavirus season has a beginning and a middle and an end, even if we can't see it yet. But trusting God and creatively staying connected to God and each other will help us through this unexpected twist in our journey together. Now we do hope to see you soon, but in the meantime, we trust that God will be with you till we meet again. Well, that wraps up the BV Morning Show for May. Kelly, I hope to see you soon, buddy. One more quick reminder, please continue to make BV Strong signs to show your support of our team members and each other. Becca, I hope to see you again soon. To my BV family, I miss you. And I can't wait till we're together again. Until then, please wash your hands and keep your social distance from one another. And we will all be together again soon. Until then, folks, see ya. Thank you.